Hi there, Libra. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your weekly reading for September 25th through October 1st. This is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these four decks. Now, this may or may not resonate with you, as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I um, apologize for the delay. I took a little uh, vacation over the weekend, which I don't ever do, so... And this is for the sign of Libra. Okay, so the basis of your reading today is the Four of Pentacles, and that is a resistance, okay? We have some kind of resistance to something, and it might be, um, it might have something to do with finances, it might have something to do with your time, okay? Right below it, we have the Eight of Cups, that is leaving a situation, okay? Where it's connected to our Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. All right, which might leave you independent, okay? So there might be leaving a situation behind with these eight of, eight of Swords and Eight of Cups, okay? And your independence right here. And then we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, this right here is also can represent the sign of Taurus, okay? It is also a very beautiful soul, all right? This is about where you're going to focus your energy, and okay so you're gonna focus it on the broken heart or are you gonna move forward from the broken heart okay and that's what that's what you're resisting I think you're resisting moving forward from a broken heart and now this may or may not resonate for all of you but I see that there's resistance and it's a broken heart over somebody that you were definitely very connected to that's all there is to it I think that that is that's what it is because the broken heart is connected to this union okay that you just are having a very hard time moving away from that's what I see um, you're just comfortably stuck in that situation and it's very heavy it's been very very heavy sooner or later the ice is gonna crack okay you could you're just dreaming and dreaming and dreaming about the past that's what's going on right here okay so this can also be, now this gets for hundreds of thousands of people, so this can also be that somebody from your past, you know, is around, okay? Somebody from your past is around, and they could be, um, it, I think it, that you are thinking about a past relationship. That's what I think. That's what I think it is, that you are thinking about a past relationship, and it's very heavy on your mind very very heavy and that you may be finally thinking about moving away from it okay moving to a more peaceful state a state of mind could be moving physically about where you're going to focus your energy you're going to focus your energy on the broken heart we're going to focus it over here where it's calmer and more peaceful um this right here is is being falsely imprisoned maybe you're really going to walk away from something i mean that's what it looks like to me. The high, the Empress is here because it's a time of rebirth. Okay, it's a time of rebirth, and I think that's where you are, where you're at. You're, you're, you're like, you know what? I, I need to focus my energy in another direction. It's a time of rebirth, and I think that your soul might be starting to um, renew itself. You know, shedding the old to bring in the new. We have the star card here. I see that there's hopes and wishes here and, and um, a lot of healing. There's definitely some renewal um, or rebirth with that star and that Empress car, card. Okay? I think that there's time of renewal for sure. So this week I think you're just moving to a very peaceful spot. And 
you know, there's still resistance though. The basis of your reading is that four of pentacles and that is resistance, okay? So this week you may be thinking about it, but I don't think you're quite taking, some of you may be, have taken a step. You may be still waiting, hoping for some communication from somebody. Just praying for, hoping and wishing for some communication and you're just not getting it, you know, and you're feeling like you're, you're really left out and it's like I'm not getting what I want and feeling really really hurt because you're not getting what you were hoping for this communication okay the moon the magician you definitely think about thinking about somebody from the past a lot observing them watching them um, you know, interest in them, love them, um, have feelings for somebody from the past. Just, I think that you're really, you know, concentrating on that. Um, well, it's, well, I can't, I shouldn't say concentrating. You're really, <laughs> that's your hopes and your wishes. I think you're, you're really thinking about somebody from your past. Could be somebody from your childhood. I don't know. Could be a past relationship, but I think that there's somebody in the past that's either coming into your life or they're already in your life and you cannot get them off your mind, okay? This is a new love, so there could be somebody new coming in from your past. Um, we do have uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Gemini. We have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We have Air, uh, air Signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's what I see so far. Um, I do see some challenges, okay? I see some challenges, um, some inner conflicts here, and I think that there's a lot of fear. I think that there could be some secrets, but there's definitely something going on behind the scenes, and there's a lot of fear, okay? Maybe your fear, you know, you're, you're scared of losing this person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody who has a lot of earth in their chart. You're, you're scared of letting go of somebody that you were connected to, you know, even though you have a broken heart. This is fear, okay? You're scared of being on your own could be, you know, fear of that. There's definitely some fear here. Your fear of them could be, I mean, there's whatever it is. This magician is as above, so below. This is awareness. It also says that you have all the tools, you know that you can handle this. You have the tools within you. Use them. The power is in is within you. Okay? You can do this. You can. You can move to a peaceful spot in your life. You can move away from the situation. You have the tools. Okay? Um, be patient. Alright? Love is around you. Love is around you. Let's get some of these. The Eight of Pentacles is about concentrating on work. Okay? So it's right over. You have a lot of eights. They're about power and control. Eights are. Okay? They're about materialism as well. So that is that plays a factor in this whole scenario. Somebody is very focused on their possessions. Okay? Materialism with these eights. It's also the infinity sign. So, you know, you've got to remember that the infinity sign is, um, is oneness. So you have this oneness about you, this a oneness with the universe. goodness works out perfectly every time it's amazing how that happens first card is heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other this person under here Taurus Virgo Capricorn or this Pisces whoever it is so whoever it is that's broken your heart you need to have another conversation with them. A heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Have that conversation. Okay? Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. 
that's up here. After you use the tools within you and you move away to a more peaceful state, okay? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious bringing and spiritual path. You believe. You believe in this. I think you believe that this is your soulmate. You believe that you, that's your tradition. That's what you believe. Okay? Religious factors. It can mean so many things. However, this card applies to you. Your love life is influenced by your upbringing and path period okay so this could have to do with when you were a child if you ask me this this has to do with because there's children underneath it and somebody from the past so it has to do with your childhood it has to do with your upbringing your upbringing is so absolutely uh, absolutely affecting your love life there's no doubt about it and it could be you know somebody that you knew a very long time ago Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. That brings you to this peaceful step. Release your ex. Somebody needs to go. Even if it, you know, it's just the way it is. And it will bring your beauty back. It seriously will. When you do this, your beauty will come back. Your inner and outer beauty will start to glow again. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It absolutely is. Right over these eights. It is time to take back control of your life. No more words really need to be said. Stay optimistic about your love life. There is another person. You see this page of cups? There is a new love. That's where this card is. There is new love out there. There is. Or if you're in a relationship, there is a chance to renew the relationship. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. It will. But you have to release your ex. It won't bring you your ex. It won't bring you um, who you're not meant to be with. You have to free yourself. If it is an ex, it's somebody from the way, way, way past, okay? Because we had reminiscing about the past twice. Somebody from your childhood, you know, that... So it could be, if it was ever an ex for this reading, it would be somebody that you haven't dated recently. Okay, somebody that you haven't dated in the last three years or, you know, something like that. For the last six months or the last year... Somebody that you know that you knew it would be a new past love, if you know what I'm saying. Treasure your loved ones. Number 10. It is important to love others deeply. We have a group of people in our lives that love and support us. Cherish these people, whether it is a special partner, your family, or your friends. The angels are prompting you that you need to reach out to your loved ones and make sure you show them love. That's good advice. So Libra, that's what I have for this week. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you later.